So behind me is the press pit for the Phoenix Dinner. Like I told you, it was mayhem earlier. There's supposed to be maybe 10, 15 reporters up here. And as you can see from looking behind me, they're easily 30, maybe 40. What's so great about this is that the Congressional Black Caucus has allowed press from all across the country to come in. So not only do you have TV networks like ours, but you also have print media, you have newspapers, you have bloggers. There are also two college students that are covering this event. So we're going to talk to both of them later. There's a young lady from Savannah, Georgia, and our very own Amari Ice, who's president of the uh, Howard University LGBT student organization. Let's talk to them now. Yo, so I'm here with my good friend Denasia Ferguson from Savannah State University. D, what's going on? Nothing much, just here at the Congressional Black Caucus, um, here with Savannah State University, reporting for Tiger's Word newspaper. How are you? I'm good. So tell me about Tiger's Word newspaper and, and why are you guys here and, and what's it mean to you? Well, um, Tiger's Word newspaper is Savannah State University's newspaper and um, we're here to report the Congressional Black Caucus. It's only about seven of us, plus our professor Howard, she's sitting right here. <laughs> she doesn't want the camera on her, but right. um, we're a mass <laughs> we're a mass communications ma um, communication major. I'm public relations and advertising. We have right. some um, print journalism okay. uh, majors. We have television and radio here. And we actually have one of our alumni who just came back to help us out that's, with photography. That's amazing. So here you guys are. It's Congressional Black Caucus. Yes. I mean, you know, all of the leaders in the Senate and the House of Representatives are here. Of course, the president is speaking tonight. Amazing. Is there anything? Have you ever seen the president before? you ever been in the room with him? Some of them have. Uh, this will be my first time. Um, okay. He came down to talk about the energy bill, Savannah. Um, but I didn't get to meet him, so it was kind of disappointing. But now I'm going to be able to see him. So How about that? Great. And you're reporting on it. So yes. here you are. Right. So, so tell me about Cascade. How long have you guys been on Howard's campus? And how has that been having a uh, gay LGBT organization on a historically black college? Well, Cascade was founded on October 6, 2000. So that actually makes this our 10 year anniversary. We're going to do a lot of big stuff this year. Um, as far as how it's been on campus, it started off pretty rough. Okay. Um, when we were first started, there was a lot of homophobia on campus, hate crimes, things of that nature. So the group was really started to combat the homophobia on campus and okay. also to provide a safe space for LGBT individuals and their allies. Fantastic. So you're here this weekend. Mm -hmm. You were uh, invited by the National Black Justice Coalition. Yeah, You've also been covering stuff. You've been on camera for GLOW. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> so how's this experience been? Oh my God, it's been so amazing. I've well, I can't say I've never done anything like this before. Cause I actually got to shake hands with the president in March of this year. Name dropper. Go yeah, ahead. and I also went on a White House tour yesterday morning. Um, so you know, having a good time, met a lot of people, got a lot of great opportunities, okay. internships, Glow TV. You know. Right. Exactly. So if people want to get involved with Cascade or support what you guys are doing on Howard's campus, is there a website they can go to? What's the best way to get in contact we with you guys? We have a blog, um, and that address is www.cascadehu. Dot Tumblr, T U M B L R dot com. You can also get in contact with us through our email, which is cascadehu at gmail.com. Great. So it's cascadehu at gmail.com for the email, which is a quick and easy way for folks to get involved. Man, thank you so much.